This video will show you how to use Microsoft Excel to find the minimum value, maximum value, average value, standard deviation, and the three charts like shown in sheet 1. We will assume 12 data in the table on the left side of the screen in the B column, row 2 to 13. First, to find the minimum, type equal min stand for minimum, then open parenthesis, and then choose the data from B2 to B13, then close the parenthesis, then press enter. You can type the formula on the select cell, which is cell E1, or the function bar, then press enter, and the minimum value will be shown in the cell E1. After you know how to type the formula to find the minimum, then to find the maximum on the cell E2 will be simple. Just change the word min to max, then you will get the maximum value on the cell E2. Now to find the average, just like the other two before, just change the word in front of the parenthesis from max or min to average, and then you get the average value for the cell E3. Now for standard deviation on cell E4, most of the formula is the same as the other three before. Cha just change the word in front of the parenthesis to S T D E V, which is stands for standard deviation. Then you get the value on the cell E4. Last, we will make a tree chart from a set of data. We use the command repeat, type equal R E P T to repeat typing the text. As for the number of times to do repeat, we will use the command count if to give a condition to count the times to type the text when the value in the range of the data are the same as the value we want it to count. For examples, to show the number 0 when value in the set of data equals to the cell D9 multiply 10 plus 0 or the number that we want to be shown which are 0 to 9 and we will use the letter N to increase more conditions by using the same formula but change the number that we want it to be shown in the table and we will put our of the conditions from 0 to 9 so that it can cover the range of the numbers in the data. After that we can copy all the formulas and put it into the other cells. So now, we can use the Excel to calculate the minimum value, maximum value, average value, standard deviation, and a tree shot. Thank you.